Christmas will be here before you know it. Santa sliding down the chimney just 33 days. But Scrooge, that guy already here, especially when it comes to the folks out there making minimum wage. For example, take Mickey D's. McDonald's, where workers here, at least some of them, are fuming at some advice that they find on their own company's website aimed at improving the lives of employees. Among the suggestions to help the workers make ends meet, break food into pieces so that you can eat less and still feel full. This is on the McDonald's website for employees. They also say, sell some of your unwanted possessions on eBay or Craigslist. Then we get to Walmart, giant retail here at store, catching all sorts of heat for something that popped up at a store in Canton, Ohio, home of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, which if you haven't gone, you should go. Um, it, a series of bins you can find in the back room and a sign that says, please donate food items here so associates, associates of people who work at Walmart in need, can enjoy Thanksgiving dinner. Now, rather than pay its workers more, Walmart is asking other workers to chip in so that those uh, co-workers of those who live below the poverty line um, can have something better, even though they work at Walmart. For more on what Walmart and, for that matter, other companies could do to help out their employees besides holding food can drives here, let's bring in our guest, Amy Traub. Amy is a senior policy analyst at Demos and author of the Demos Report, A Higher Wage is Possible. You know, Amy, in looking at this, it's not that there's a news flash that the gap between have and have nots has been getting wider. Uh, that story has been well reported for a while. But it seems, at least if you go by the Canton story um, for Walmart, this is out in the open, that they would acknowledge and put signs up to say, hey, for those of you who work here who don't earn enough to basically uh, have something to eat over the holidays, um, let's have a, a food drive for you. That in itself is really something else, isn't it? It, it really is something else, and it goes right along with what we've been hearing here at Demos from workers who... Uh, you know, their plan for Thanksgiving is to go to a food bank, to go to a, make an appointment at a food pantry because they're just not earning enough to be able to really celebrate this holiday with their families. To that end, Amy, if people think that this is some isolated issue in Canton, can you give more of a frame of reference? And there's other examples too. McDonald's are doing something equivalent to this. How many people, people with jobs, are right at or even below the poverty line? Well, listen, at Walmart, there was recently an admission by the CEO that it's about 825,000 workers at Walmart that are not, or that are earning less than $25,000 a year. He was actually bragging about this, that, oh, they have something like 400,000 workers who make more than 800, make more than uh, $25,000 a year. But this is a company with 1.3 million workers. So that leaves a whole lot of people who are not even at that very modest income level. Then you look at a lot of other low-wage industries, which really are the core industries, the, the industries that are, that are hiring and growing in our economy, and they are things like fast food, retail, home health care, home care aides, um, positions that really do not pay well. In the math here, uh, even if you take them at face value, let's use Walmart, um, they say, hey, these folks are making uh, 12 and a half bucks an hour. A lot of research says it's really closer to eight, and those are even for the people who work a full 40-hour work week with what comes attached to it. But even if you use that math, that they're working full-time and they're making 12 bucks, we're talking, you know, 22 grand if they're lucky that they're making. And how are you supposed to support a whole family on that, as many of these cases are, especially when you get away from the coasts? Yeah, well, listen, people are not able to support their families on the wages Walmart is paying. And, and the $12 an hour, I, I don't think that's accurate for the average worker to begin with because the company, um, first of all, it's an average. It averages, you take the CEO of Walmart and me, and um, on our average wage, I could get a much bigger apartment, let's put it that way. Um, and they don't count all of the part-time workers and the temporary workers at Walmart who are really carrying the company. Um, but beyond that, look, people are not supporting their families on these wages. The taxpayers really end up subsidizing Walmart's business model to a, to a tremendous degree, um, paying for, for uh, nutrition assistance, heating assistance, food stamps, uh, Medicaid, because the company has decided it's going to pay its workers too little to get by. 
But the million dollar question, Amy, is what do you think the reaction of the public is? Uh, because if there was ever any solidarity, then maybe a generation ago you'd see. Now people want to pay rock bottom prices. It doesn't have to be made in America anymore. It doesn't going to turn off the public. Um, and they say, I got my own problems. Sorry, if I can save a buck here, I'll do it. When do you think, if you do think, that the public sentiment will turn here, will they'll feel for these people? You know, I think the American people as a whole have always believed in this value that um, when you work hard you all day, you, you ought to be able to make a living and support your family. But at the same time, I'm really glad that you've mentioned this issue of prices because the research we recently did at Demos finds that um, Walmart really wouldn't have to raise prices at all, not, not a penny, not a nickel, um, in order to uh, give a substantial raise as much as almost $6 an hour to its lowest paid employees. And what they would do, rather than raising prices, one thing they could do is to curtail these, these stock buybacks. They spent $7.6 billion in just the last year buying back shares of their own stock. If they reinvested that in their own workforce, in their own company, they could afford very substantial raises for their low-wage workforce. Amy, I appreciate the time and the work you guys have been doing on this subject. Amy Traub, thank you. Great, thank you. You know, and we were talking, there's a cause and effect to this thing, which is who pays for the shortfalls? Walmart's not paying, but the people that aren't making it have to go somewhere. Yeah, they, they, they get food stamps. They wind yeah. up on public assistance. The rest of us wind up paying for it. They don't get health care, and they wind up getting sick. So they either go to the emergency room or, well, they go to the emergency room. They, or they wind up being a drain on the health care system in other ways. It's, it is a public burden when these companies don't come through. Right. And for small businesses, forget about it. These guys, Walmart crushes every one of them, and, and they have no place else to go. And these towns basically depend on this Walmart city yeah. that it is. And it just, you know, eats at it. It just eats at the people. It just eats at the town. And, and as Andrew said, it's costing the taxpayers a lot of money. But isn't the dirty secret, Andrew, uh, Dominic, that you guys look, you know, look Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they, That's the dirty secret. If somebody can pay five bucks <laughs> instead of six fifty, they're going to spend five bucks. They don't care where it's made. They don't care where they it's made. They don't care what the, what's going, what's happening to the workers. I mean, it's a, it's a terrible thing to, to say, but it's true, There used to be right? a time when you'd see a sign made in China that would be considered offensive, and you'd put it back. Now you know that's the best price, you know. And, and what's crazy about this, let's look at this from a purely public relations standpoint. If you're Walmart, feed, you got the food right there. <laughs> feed them for Thanksgiving, and it's a great public relations move. I mean, no, it, they're, they're going to make them work on Thanksgiving. I don't, I don't mind about working on <laughs> Thanksgiving. But don't, get it started, <laughs> yeah. don't get them started. I'm with you on this issue, though. I mean, it's disgusting what they're doing. It, disgusting. It, and you know what? They've done the calculations. This isn't the first story right. this has happened. They don't care. And their profits, what did we say, 17 bill last 17 year? 17 billion profits. Profit. Second highest revenue of any company in the world, largest employer in the United but, States. But it seems yeah. like there's something criminal about that. Let's figure out how many hours we give you less so that you, we don't have to give you health benefits and well, you they can get do Medicaid. 36 and a half hours. Here's the thing to me that was a headline when I saw this story, and I think maybe for a lot of you folks the same thing. It wasn't that Walmart was screwing their employees. We've known that story but that they would publicly put up a sign to say to them, we know you're getting shafted. Before it was like, I don't know what's going on, right? I don't see, you know, we know you can't make ends meet. So, you know, we're going to ask your coworkers to throw a can of food in a bin so you can eat yeah. on Thanksgiving. Or at McDonald's, to be fair, eat smaller bites. Now, granted, to this be wasn't fair, it's from one store in Canada. It didn't come Ohio. out of Arkansas. But, out of the but you know what Walmart but, does do? They get their employees together and say, this is how you file for public assistance. You're right. they, they do offer assistance in how to find food assistance and how to find other public services that you can't get through the company. Mm. Yeah, I mean, the same reason people complain that many people game the system. They're gaming the system here, but, you know, they're, they're doing it in a way where they're able to keep wages low, keep hours low. A different kind low. of welfare. Right, a different yeah. kind of welfare. Exactly. Yeah. That's what it All is. Right. Also, we're going to wrap things up right after this.